Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. His heart is burning with sorrow and pride like rain over a campfire. The shower of dismay was incinerated by the blaze it sought to pelt down upon. His comrades in arms are the dance of flames nestled inside of his chest. His love for them radiates like yellow, orange, and red licks of heat in the darkness. His thoughts are like the twinkle of a star across a deeply dark black. He knows he is where he belongs and he feels the call of duty. He will follow his father with confidence to any city. When his father is with him, he feels comfort in his destiny. Like his brothers, he is surrounded by men equal in bravery. Those who don't dare look into the face of death are not the men here in the front lines. He is one of the men who terrify the strongest army in the world. He is a 24-year-old man named Abu Maria al-Iraqi. His stolen rifles and remodeled pickup trucks tacked with rusty sheet metal have forced men who have airstrips lined with $10 million jets and guided missiles and mega bombs to call across the entire world that they utterly dread his existence. What does he contain that inspires such hatred against him? It's a question he may never know the answer to. They wanted to turn the whole world against him. To convince him of this end, they knew they needed to exterminate every last soul who they deemed security challenges. They wanted to silence him. With his camera in front of his eyes and the courage his father gave him, he walked many a valley of death. He is like a crown of grace adorning his memories of his father. He, his father, and brothers perplex and alarm the army who dares only approach him with overwhelming force and armor. They raid the city meticulously, block by block, binding the hands of every Sunni, depriving him of liberty and livelihood as they had done to him and his family while every Shia in every neighborhood was granted amnesty and trust and given mercy of remaining free from captivity. Their anxieties told him something. They needed to position themselves high above the surface of the land to gain the position of superiority over him. The nightmare of their persecution was not bigger than the ocean of faith it was bearing down over. It was a long fall down from the air where they put themselves. You strengthen thine arm through thy brother. They will not touch you. The Sunni religion will rise and recede like surf and rhythms of tides here in the land of Iraq. Iraq will never cease to grow seeds of religion because it is historic to her. Now is the time he has only before dreamed of ever seeing in the light of day. He and his brother Sunni Muslims have gathered strength many years among the wreckage of landscape and the wounds of loss. He is striving together with them as one rushing body and putting forth a tremendous energy as they pounce city by city along the riverland west Euphrates in Iraq. He comes upon many familiar places that he once knew to be his home. The streets and concrete walls are spattered with holes, piled with rubble, and broken to ruin. As before, he entered the other cities on this journey. He has arrived at the city of palaces and says, Thank God, thank God, thank God. There is a powerful and important sign which will come to light there. He cannot fail to collect it upon the lens of his camera. He who fears death should not accompany me. Allah Akbar.